there's intense interest at the moment in immunology as in other areas of biomedical research in the microbiome. So the idea, we've always known that our gut, skin, lungs, um, our body harbors um, bacteria, viruses, fungi, which may be tolerated, may be good, may be bad, may be pathogenic. But now I think we think about them in a slightly different way as an absolutely integral part of your, of your body's physiology in a dialogue with all of your cells all the time. Very much the case also with your immune system, shaping and developing your immune system and deciding things like disease susceptibility for diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, where the endeavour at the moment is very much to try and work out what are the correlates of having or not having those diseases at the level of, for example, bacterial species. So nowadays, um, a patient in one of these studies might be asked not only to give a blood sample, but to give a sample of poop as well, so that we can sequence it, look at the bacterial species present, and work out which are the correlates of disease, leading to new um, therapeutics in terms of modulating um, bacteria in the gut or bacterial products um, with real implications for, for getting at those diseases.